Okay guys, welcome to another RUF GT3 setup. This setup's been taken from my pole lap from the um, VR room race that I did. Um, this is the actual pole lap I did. Wasn't perfect, there was probably still another three, four attempts to come off, but I thought I'd show you an actual lap that I did during a qualifying session with only 15 minutes on the um, clock. So we're gonna break down just before the 100, hard on the brakes, down into second gear, then hard on the power in second, then into third gear, keeping the power down to keep the car from running wide. Then we're going to come into the next braking zone where we're going to brake just before the 100 on the right again. You see the little board on the right there. We're going to brake just before that and go down into second gear just over the curb a bit and just, just avoid running wide on the curb there. Just kept it on the track perfectly. Then we're going to go through the gears and then we're going to look out for the sand again on the left. Same with the uh, McLaren. Just braking hard down into second gear then into first gear as we approach the apex. Then hard on the power in first gear into second gear then all the way through the gears. And again, we're going to look out for the board on the right that we did in the McLaren, and we're going to brake hard just bef just just on that board, pretty much, and down into second gear, trying to skim the curb there. Ran a little bit wide there uh, to get on the curb a bit, which we lost a few attempts there. Then we're hard on the power in fourth gear. We actually took quite a good speed through that corner though, which made up for it. Then we're coming down into the next braking zone where we're braking just on that board there on the left, the 100 board again, where we're going down into second gear. Then we're going to stay in second gear. And then hard on the power there, coming through the gears now. Now this bend, we could have took a little bit more speed through this bend. We ran a little bit wide and lost another tenth or so, but I'll go for it now. We're going down into fourth gear, and we really wanted to take into third gear, and then we really wanted to take more curb and stay in fourth gear, really for that bend. We ran a little bit wide, got a bit twitchy on the exit, maybe lost another tenth or so. So we'll go through the setup now. So it was 130.7, there was definitely a 130.4 in that lap, but we'll go through the setup quickly now. Okay, so... I'm going to go through this setup quickly with the few changes that I made. Um, some things that need to be changed for the race as I found out in the race. Massive mistake I made by not changing it. Um, brake, brake pressure 76, balance 57 was fine. Um, brake dock didn't have time to change it for the race. I had a massive error. That lap was done. If you'll see, look in the top, bottom left, you'll see how much time I had left. I only had about 10 seconds or so. And I didn't get time to change the brake dock or nothing, which really cost me big time in the race. But... Brake ducks you would need to go up to maybe 30%, 25 to 30%, I'd say, for a race of 20 laps or so. Make sure that's really important. And obviously, we went a little bit um, lower on the front um, tyre pressures to give us a nice bit of turning for the corners. Quite low tyre pressures here. As I don't know if it was the temperatures at the time of year, but found it hard to warm the tyres up, so we went quite low on the tyre pressures. Um, balance, I'd consider maybe going to 59 as well for the race. <coughs> <clears throat> just to stop the rear end locking up a bit it was um sometimes it seemed to lock up a little bit but that was partly due to the other setting that got wrong for the race but i didn't have time to change anything because the race literally started straight away but we'll go through the setups the the, the changes that we'd make now anyway okay so <clears throat> i just wait for this to um change over to the other bit it was mainly the deceleration um, assist that I didn't change which I should have changed which we'll go through when it comes up in a minute um, brake mapping all the way to left as usual restrict to maximum gears no point changing there's nothing no no benefit from going with maximum gears on this um, slip slip 10% and deceleration lock big mistake here for qualifying it definitely worked having it on that 80 80 to 85 percent range definitely gave me an, a nice advantage and the preload on 60 However, for the race, I would go all the way up to 100% every time. It just it, it just didn't. I mean, it might have been a contributing factor with the brakes being on 0%, which were overheating, and maybe that contributed to it a bit, but I just find it 100% for the race is definitely better. But for qualifying, 85 to 95% seems to give a bit better handling through the corners. Um, radiator, again, we only had it on 5%. Um, 0-5% to for qualifying and then we should have really went up to at least 10-15% to for the um, race but that really wasn't an issue um, the car lasted for the race it was just mainly the deceleration and the brake vents that we needed to change which we didn't um, going through the suspension changes that we made um, the bumps up very low again 7 and 13 I dropped it right down for stability even though it's quite bumpy that first corner it was faster lowering it for myself um, the bump stop <coughs> just past the middle range in the front and a little bit stiffer on the rear so we had a bit more a bit more um, on the slow bump sorry a little bit stiffer on the rear so we had a bit better turning on the front end for some of the corners we needed quite a nice rotation on the corners 
for this car that that seems to give me the rotation um fast bump again equal front and rear seem to work really nicely on there and quite stiff on all the um of a suspension settings end and we lowered the car right down but we actually went up a bit on the rear i think we should have maybe gone a little bit lower for the race um i'm not too sure with that but i'll probably go a little bit lower for the race <clears throat> and camber angles again 2.5 and 1.9 pretty pretty normal and then 05 again for the downforce and finding that 05 is a really good setting although I think maybe for the race it would have gone 04 when the car's heavier and you've got that extra fuel you can afford to run a little bit less downforce maybe by one click because obviously you've got the weight of the car pushing the car down a bit more so I'll probably go to 04 for the race but just remember guys to make sure you change that one set in the deceleration for a race it's because obviously this is a no assist setup you need that extra braking assistance so make sure you do that for um, any races you do anyway i hope this setup has helped some of you guys out for this track and make sure you try this track it's one of the best tracks in the game i think i really enjoy driving this track great rhythm and i'll be back shortly with some more videos thanks again for watching guys